Unless you've been holed up in a 3D movie theater watching Iron Man 3 for the 15th time, you've probably heard about the best thing to happen to guns since the index finger. That's right, I'm talking about a firearm you can make with things found in your own home. Well, as long as your home has a 3D printer, powdered plastic, a nail, bullets, and a cowboy hat. Okay, you don't really need the cowboy hat, I just like wearing one. A nonprofit company in Austin, Texas called Defense Distributed has developed and demonstrated the first 3D printable model of a gun, including the successful firing of real bullets. Depending on your definition of success, that is. It's called the Liberator, and it's named after a single-shot metal gun called the FP-45 Liberator. That gun was designed to be mass-produced cheaply during World War II and distributed to anyone fighting Nazis. Though none of these guns were ever used, and the 25,000 that were manufactured were destroyed after the war. But like many things, as long as you have a good set of instructions, you can build it yourself. The Liberator from Defense Distributed is actually a set of computer-aided design files you download from their website, along with instructions for how to make parts on your 3D printer. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can't exactly go down to your nearest 3D Kinko's. You either need to buy one or find a friend who will let you use his in the interest of... science? According to the company, over 50,000 downloads of the plans were completed the first day the plans were released. Making the gun is pretty easy. Once you've 3D printed the 15 plastic parts for your gun, you'll need one more thing to make it work. A metal nail to use as a firing pin. That's what hits the cartridge to make the bullet fire out of the barrel. Oh, and you'll need one more thing to make it legal. A six ounce block of steel so the gun can be detected by a metal detector. Or if you leave it out, who would know? The Undetectable Firearms Act requires that all guns be detectable by a metal detector. Wait a minute, didn't John Malkovich have a plastic gun in that movie, In the Line of Fire? As a matter of fact, he did. His character used a two-shot reloadable plastic gun which had no metal parts so he could sneak it past airport security. And the plastic gun used in this 1993 movie was just a prop that fired blanks. But it was so controversial at the time that the studio cut it into three pieces so it couldn't be used again. Like that's going to stop someone. Other versions of the same plastic pistol were seen in the movie No Way Back and on the TV show The X-Files, for example. Okay, so now that pretty much anyone can make a printable 3D plastic gun, is it legal? Technically, in the US, yes, it is for the time being. Kind of like some of Lady Gaga's outfits. If you follow the plans and add the steel bar, the Liberator is a legal gun. However, it also falls under the laws of local jurisdiction, which may have gun regulations and require a variety of permits. And the Borough of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives prohibits you from selling your plastic gun. Which is why members of Congress are already looking for ways to ban the 3D printable gun. It's cheap to make and difficult to trace. And then there's the National Rifle Association. While it would seem the NRA would support a technology enabling people to own guns, in reality the organization is against it because it would allow less people to buy guns from the NRA's friends in the gun manufacturing industry. Will the 3D printable gun mean the end of guns made out of metal? For the foreseeable future, no. Besides resistance from Congress, the NRA, and gun control advocates, there's one more thing that will likely prevent people from switching to plastic guns. They can't stand up to the high heat from firing bullets. After a few shots, your plastic gun will look like that Barbie doll your kid brother baked in the microwave. Yes, I still remember that. But it's safe to say with the advent of the plastic printable gun, we're absolutely positively screwed. So come on out and keep my Barbie where I can see her.